all right so welcome to this new video now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can perform some surface analysis on AutoCAD Civil 3D and I have my, my surface here okay so if you don't have your surface you can learn how to create one it's not so complicated I've already recorded some videos on how you can create your own surface okay it's just a few steps and you'll be able to do it all right so if you have your surface let's proceed with the analysis now surface analysis is important number one if you are performing suitability analysis or some kind of um, analysis where you want to identify the best places where you can let's say for instance you have um, a water distribution company you want to identify where um, you can best put it so that it will be able to distribute the water um, effectively maybe you're looking for a high ground okay or you are working on a project maybe you are constructing a road and you are trying to avoid um, steep slopes something like that so you are basically looking for flat areas you can use surface analysis in such areas there are several other applications of surface analysis if you are new to the channel I encourage you to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos and if you if this video was helpful to you I I want to encourage you to like it and leave a thumbs up so that others can also find it so now let's proceed all right so if you have a surface you can start by so right now I have contours um, I have contours on my surface my surface is made of contours okay I want to start by performing a slope analysis so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these contours into um, a slope a slope surface okay so I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to the surface styles okay when I go to the styles as you can see I have my major and minor contour selected so I'll just deselect them so that they will disappear and I'll enable my slope like this good so I have my slope like this alright and now whilst it's still selected I'm going to the properties surface properties okay and over here I'm going to perform slope analysis so I'm going to change this one to slope slopes here and when I run here it's going to automatically um, grade them for me so it's slopes are in percentages so it's going to give me um, about eight ranges of the slopes so what I want is I want um, I want let's say three different ranges okay so three like this and I'm going to run for three and I want it to start from 0 to 5 okay so let's just say 0 to 5 like this and from 5 to 10 5 to 10 and anything above 10% um, we it's too, too steep, steep for us so um, I think we should give it some color so I'm going to put um, for the very uh, put a yellow here I'll explain I'll, I'll explain the colors very soon okay and it already here fine from 0 to 5 it's not as steep as from 5 to 10 a slope of 10 is very steep compared to a slope of 5 that's what it means so 0 to 5 we are giving it a green color to indicate that these are gradients which are not so, so steep okay and um, yeah so and anything above 10 we've given it a red color so when we apply it's going to automatically um, highlight all those areas for us so if you follow our legend you realize that these areas with red are very steep areas these yellow areas are also quite steep but not so steep as the red and the green areas are the best places if you're looking for places that are not so steep you may also be looking for places that are steep so you then be considering the red areas okay so now um you may want to represent this in a tabular form okay so what you could do is you would select it and then you come to add legend here okay and now you're going to select slopes because this anal this analysis is on slopes now I suggest you select the dynamic so that it will always change um, the values whenever you update your surface okay so I'm going to select a place where I can leave it at like this and as you can see what we have is basically a sum what we have here is basically a summary of the surface so we have a summary of the surface here all right let's perform another analysis um, we can perform um, an elevation analysis okay so I'm going to select the surface 
and I'm going to change the style to elevation remember you need to change the style to display what you have to analyze so let's so after that you can come and try to um, perform analysis on each of these other ones okay so um, when I select the elevations I'm going to show elevations and by default it um, it displays the uh, elevations according to its own ranges so let's just go to the properties like this and then okay so we select elevations here if yours is not elevation you just select elevations here okay and as you can see it's given us elevations in um, several seven different ranges okay so we are going to probably change like let's say um, four four and then we oh sorry then you select the analysis and it's going to give you the four different ranges which means that the the lower so i'm just going to invert these colors so i'm going to change i think four is too much let's make it like the way so that it will be like our slope analysis oh what analyze okay so that will make the areas that are very low basically they are like valleys okay so since this one is between 250 and 253 um, and 260 we'll say 250 to 253 so let's say 250 to 255 like that and then from 255 to 257 and from 257 to 260 that's fine so i'm going to make these areas since they are um valleys i'll make them rather deep okay and i'm going to maintain this one so that i'll make the last part very light to show that they are the peak they are the highest areas of of the surface all right so if you wanted to you could have been showing the tables here so now i'm going to select okay and in the same way like you did for the slope i'm going to select escape in the same way like you did for the slope you can also display a table for the elevations so if you select on this um, surface you can add a legend okay and over here sorry over here you can select elevations like this and then you select the type you want then i'll just come here i prefer to arrange them so i'll just come here now select another one here so that i have the same a summary of, of um, my elevations okay so i hope with this you can be able to do the rest of the analysis let's try a, a last one let's try one for direction okay let's try one for direction so whilst my surface is selected i can come to my styles and show and show my directions if you don't know how to do this you can also just right click on the surface and go to surface style and then i'm going to disable the elevations like this and i'll show directions okay like this okay so by default it automatically um, categorizes them into different um, directions so I'm going to my properties again and I'll do the same thing I'll change this one to direction because that's because that's what I want to analyze all right and I'm going to let's say I'm going to use four colors or four different um, directions and to summarize them for me here so those that are 90 degrees all the way to 75 degrees here uh in red so i'm just you, you can also change the same thing but if you if you can understand your colors that will be fine so i'm just going to let's say i'll maintain the red and um i'll change this one to like a green yeah. anyway so yeah when i apply you see that basically you should be able to interpret the map now any color that is red means that that color has a bearing of between 0 and 75 okay if you want to show more detailed um, directions you can basically increase the number of um, ranges you want to have so that it would give you more detailed directions I don't know if you understand so instead of from 0 to 75 you have 0 to 19 if you want more details you can basically increase it till you have more details all right so I'm just going to return this to 4 and I'm going to select it and enter the same way you can add a legend to it so 
and I'm going to choose for directions dynamic when I place it here I should place and it should give me a summary of of um of my surface okay so guys with uh, with this I hope it's helpful and I hope you now understand how to perform surface analysis so what's left here is all about interpretation and what's this your the purpose for your analysis is so for instance if it comes to the slope like I mentioned earlier if you're looking for very high areas you look for the green areas so whenever you need to show the slopes you just go back to the surface and show what you have to show okay so let's say you've gone back to slope I'll just enable the slopes and to bring me back to where I was you can even add some arrows here so that it will show you the direction of um, flow okay so basically anything with a color of green is a very um, it's not so steep and anything with a color of red is a steep slope in the same way so this one the arrows tell you the directions of the slope even though it's a steep slope the arrows tell you where the slope is is steeping towards all right so i would leave the interpretation of the analysis to you and i hope you understand the whole surface analysis thing